<laughs> For this scenario, the force, current, and magnetic field are at right angles to one another. Ayan ang tatandaan natin. At ang pinakamalaking challenge sa atin ay ma-determine kung saan ang direction ng force. Ito nga ba ay magmo-move away or inward? Upward o downward? At para malaman natin ang direction ng force, we have to use this technique. And this is called Fleming's left-hand rule. So the primary purpose of this is to deduce the direction of the force acting on a current current conductor in a magnetic field. Paano nga ba gamitin at i-analyze ang Fleming's left-hand rule? So itaas ang kaliwang kamay at kunin ang unang tatlong daliri. The thumb, the forefinger, and the middle finger. And these three fingers will signify or represent a certain aspect in this lesson. So ang thumb ay ang representation ng ating force, direction of force. Okay? Then, ang ating forefinger or pointing finger ay para sa field or magnetic field. Then, ang ating middle finger ay para naman sa direction ng current. Ulit, thumb force. Forefinger or pointing finger ay magnetic field. Then, the middle finger is for current. And with this, we can find out or determine the direction of the force. Let us apply the concept of Fleming's left-hand rule in this drill. So we have this set up. So we have a battery with wire, then a switch, then a magnet. So our conductor here, or the current current conductor, is the red wire, which is placed here in the magnet. So tingnan natin ngayon kung ano yung magiging direction ng force. So what will happen to the wire when the switch is closed? So let's apply now the Fleming's left-hand rule. So first, we will use our forefinger. Again, ang ating forefinger represents the field. Four finger, so field or magnetic field. So tatandaan natin na ang magnetic field ng magnet ay parating from north to south. Again, it is from north to south. So kung tinitingnan ninyo itong illustration na to, you will point your Four finger from north to south direction. So ganito yung magiging itsura niya. Pwede nyo rin gawin para ma-visualize nyo kung paano siya ina-apply or paano ginagamit ang Fleming's rule. Second step ay alamin ang direction ng current. So the direction of the current in here is outward or towards you. Okay? So, away from the plane. So, it's going on to you. Towards you. Pointing towards you. Sir, bakit po pointing towards you yung direction ng finger? Tatandaan natin na kapag nagdi-deal tayo with the current, we are using the conventional Current. So, pag sinabing conventional current, the electricity or the charges are moving from the positive to negative. So, kung nakita ninyo, papalabas. So, from positive to negative. So, lalabas. That's why it is towards you. And therefore, the direction of force will look like this. So, it is upward. So, what will happen to the wire? It will float on the air. 
because constantly it will be pushed by the force. So let's have the second question. The switch is open and the magnetic poles of the magnet are reversed. Again, the magnetic poles of the magnet are reversed by rotating the magnet 180 degrees. What will happen to the wire when the switch is closed again? So originally, this is the position of our hand, left hand, okay? So this time, sabi ay, tinurn natin or ni-reverse natin ang direction ng magnetic pole. So si south ay napunta sa kaliwa at si north ay napunta sa kanan. Again, our forefinger represents the magnetic field. So, we need to twist it at babalik na rin natin. So, it's now again from north to south. Kung nakikita ninyo, yung finger ay still towards me or towards you. Okay? So, therefore, the force now is pointing downward. So, ano mangyayari sa wire? Ito ay pupunta sa ilalim or mag-settle dito sa ilalim. Because the force will pull it downward. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.